Hi everyone, welcome back to another Plan With Me video. This is Elise, Plan With Elise, and today we are planning in my dashboard, Happy Planner for the week of June 21st through 27th. So let's get these pages off the discs and get started. Okay, back where it belongs. All right, so I am going to be using, I like, couldn't decide what I wanted to use today. I have a couple, I have a bunch of stickers here, but the theme is sort of black and white. But to go along with the black and white theme, I wanted to add in some floral. I almost did a week of no florals because my classic has like barely any. They're just on those chickens, if you saw that video yesterday. And my big uh, doesn't have any. So I almost did it and then I was like, uh, I don't want to. <laughs> because honestly, I thought someone would call me out on... Um, the chickens having flowers and saying it wasn't like a true no floral spread. So anyway, we're, that's, that's the deal. All right. So this is Live Love Posh. I don't know what sticker book this is. Let me see. Spring florals. Well, it's summer, but that doesn't mean that I can't use spring florals. So I'm going to start out and put this sticker right down here. And I didn't have to cover up the note section because the sticker has white backing. And then let's take this one. Whoops. Rip that one a little bit. I think it's salvageable. And let's bring this one right over here. Okay. So for florals, I'm going to kind of leave those be for now, but I am going to put this on the side here in case I want to bring it back. And then I also wanted to pull in some black washi. Let me get all this out of the way. Sometimes I worry that it's too distracting right over here. So um, let's bring in a little black washi right here because I'll definitely be bringing in black and white elements to this spread. So I'm just going to rip off a couple pieces. I know I normally start with like the boxes. I'm sort of going out of my typical order here. Okay, got that one. And I'm trying to use, like to put this washi in spaces that aren't like valuable real estate. Like down here for me is valuable real estate and I don't really want to use that up. Um, let's take another piece and we'll put it right over here because I tend to have more bullets on this side than I usually need. Okay, now I'm going to take my Paper Make Dry Line Ultra and just cover these up. All right, next up, and this is where I might want to bring in the florals again, I'm taking stickers from Mojo Jojo Plans. I'm going to take these small black boxes, but I also have the black and white sticker book from the Happy Planner just to see if there's any kind of fun element I can bring in. I just passed something I liked. Where was it? These. So I don't know if these will be visible in a photo and anyone will know that's not watching this video, but I kind of like this little gray background area. I'm just gonna rip that part off because I don't need it to be as long as that sticker is. Sometimes things that I think are visible when I'm filming are definitely not visible on, oh, this one's shorter already, that's weird, um, are not visible when I'm taking a photo, usually due to editing or something. Or like foil is really hard to photograph. You kind of have to do it at like a 45 degree angle. These are shorter. But they just add a little bit of like fun texture, I think. And then while I have this out, I want to grab some kind of quote. So, you can and you will. This is my social media planner. It's my plan with Elise planner. Um, how about celebrate each little victory? Because that's what I do. Every time 
I get a new view on a video, every time I get a new subscriber on my channel, a new follower, a new branding opportunity, I, I celebrate it. I think it's really exciting and I can't believe that this is part of my life. It's so cool. I also have Neutral Florals by Kel of a Plan because I believe there are some habit trackers in here. Hmm, those are monthly. There we go, weekly habit tracker. And look at this right over here. Okay, and then let's take these boxes. And I'm just gonna sort of layer them over that little gray section again. And again, like you can barely see them, but also, I mean, I know they're there. And then thirdly, I can't just say also again, um, I'm probably never gonna use those these gray stickers. So I may as well use the stickers. Put this in and throw one up here as well. This one a little bit higher because I'm, I'll need to be able to write on Monday. Okay, now I'm going for these boxes back here and I'm going to use these boxes. Oh, these are some sticky stickers. Okay, we are going to use these for tracking my growth on Instagram and YouTube. So if you want to help me and you are not already subscribed to my channel, please do click the subscribe button. If you look at the bottom of this video and it's a red button, that means you can click it and subscribe. If it's gray, that means you are already subscribed. So thank you very much for subscribing. All right, now let's get to some function. So I have these stickers from Proud Sticker Designs. And first up, I'm going to take out a YouTube icon and put that here because this is my YouTube schedule. This will be a busy week in this planner because it's the end of the month. So there's going to be a lot of videos that need to be filmed, um, like currently page, budget, end of the uh, end of the month, uh, July monthly, um, a bunch of goal setting. And I just realized, wait a minute, May, June, January, February, March, April, May, June. We are halfway through the year, which means that it's time to look at my quarterly goals. So a video that should be coming up soon will be reflecting on my quarter two goals and setting quarter three goals, which is scary. How is it possible that at the end of that week, <laughs> this week, we will be halfway through the year? It felt like 2020 went by so slowly and 2021 is just absolutely flying by. Okay, so I'm taking these Instagram icons because these will be uh, corresponding to whatever photo is, well, these will go to whatever photo I'll post on Instagram to go along with the video that, that day. So, okay, what else? I need some bullets and probably some more flowers too. So let me go back to that floral page. Oops. And let's take this sticker. I'm not gonna be able to do this right. Let me remove like a lot of the sticky from the side here, just on my hand. Well, that didn't really work because this is very sticky. Ah, try it again on my arm. Maybe that's better. There we go, that seems to be better. I don't wanna cover up that celebrate. Okay, and now I'm gonna take my knife that I can't seem to find. Hmm, knife, if I were a knife, where would I be? All right, well, I can't find my typical knife, so I'm just gonna pull out a regular exacto knife. This scares me a little bit. Okay. And now I'm just sort of looking and feeling for where the black lines are. 
and really lightly pressing down. Oops. And watching my fingers. Let me turn this. Okay. Let's see how well that worked. Oh, I, oh my goodness, wait. I, got, I pulled up the wrong part. Okay, there we go. Not a perfect cut, but that's okay. What I could do is actually put this right here just to use up that little scrap. Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Um, let me put this knife to the side so I do not, whoops, I don't cut myself. I'm very scared of those kinds of knives. <laughs> All right, bullets, right? That's what I was talking about. So I could bring in, I don't think this sticker book has any actual bullets. So let me grab my book of bullets. This is a Happy Planner DIY sticker book. So, um, We've got these violet ones, which are pretty. So I think these are from the budget sticker book. So I think we'll just go ahead and use these. And typically what I use these for, uh, like for example, today is Thursday. So in my planner today, it says to film this video. And it may also say to schedule this weekend's videos because they are now filmed, but I may not have scheduled them and uploaded them to, not uploaded, um, they're uploaded to YouTube, but they're not, they're not scheduled. They may not have thumbnails or photos or descriptions and things like that. So that's typically where I, what I use these bullets for. Oops, this one here. Sometimes these are a little bit tough to take off. I can remove the backing, but that's, that's a project for another day. And then sometimes I'll put a box when I know something else is coming up, like if Wild University enrollment is opening or, <coughs> excuse me, another one's coming. <coughs> excuse me. Um, I always sneeze twice, always, 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 ever since I was an infant, my mom says. Um, okay, if I know there's going to be a happy hangouts or something, but usually we don't get that much notice about happy hangouts. And those, of course, are the live videos that uh, Marielle of Mom and Girl with Plans does on Instagram as she works for the Happy Planner. All right, so got these bullets down. All right, let's see where we stand and move this out of the way. It's kind of plain. I don't mind it. I like that I brought in the purple on this side. I'm wondering if I should sort of bring it in over here also, or maybe there are some more flowers. Like maybe I can just bring a flower up there. That's the wrong flower. Um, this one's pretty big. We could just kind of let this one live right here. Cut off the edge. And then maybe I need to add in some more up there once I put that one in. So instead of lifting the page and cutting off the edge, I'm just gonna cut this sticker before I, I put it down. And maybe one more. Why not? Let's see. Kind of size that. And what I hope that you get out of my dashboard planner, because I know not everyone uses it for social media planning, not everyone needs a social media planner, um, is just how to decorate this layout and sort of customize it to your own needs. Because realistically, oh, I wanted to add in a couple more of these. Realistically, 
all you have to do is just cover these up or you don't even have to if you want to use the default and um, make them whatever whatever works for you. Okay, this sticker will be used for my filming schedule or video, not my schedule, but videos that I want to film. So I'll list them there and then, um, then proceed. Okay, I think that's a wrap. Let's put it back on the discs and see how it all looks together. I also, if you didn't catch my video from last Friday, um, I have a whole video showing how I set up this planner for the rest of the year. So I would definitely recommend going back and checking that out. Um, I'll link it, I'll link it below so that you can see how I use my social media planner on a more monthly basis versus just showing you these pages. So I think this came out really cute. I'm excited about it. Um, thank you so much for watching. And if, yeah, that's it. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks for watching everyone. Bye.